Yes. Let's go. Yes, in the middle of a pandemic. Let's go. Yeah. Yes. Droplets for everybody. Yes. Great. Great. Just, just the one host who did get COVID. Just sitting on the production staff. All right. Ah. So basically, this is how we're announcing we're going back to working from home. Thank you, Vero. <laughs> Yo, wow. I'm ready. Who wants to get fucking suplexed? I got wrestling energy now. I think he just suplexed our lungs, nigga. <laughs> uh, welcome to another episode of Jesus Mirror. Probably our last one from the studio. For yeah! This year. Julia, what's the weather report? Well, I have a little space heater, so I'm doing Ooh. great. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that. Shout out to women in the STEM. Okay, that's what? Right. I didn't build it. You, oh, you didn't build it? Oh, no. Okay. See, you could have given credit for that. I built it. She you built it, y'all. You should have lied. Shout out to her. She's the Simone Biles of our production. Um. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not, I didn't okay, say that. No. I didn't say that. Tried. I didn't say that. Don't let Michael P stop you, okay? <laughs> you say you were soft for taking a personal day. I don't want to say anything, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're going to punish you both by giving Thank you this, you. Let's guys. Let's go. Hey. Oh, oh we talking hip hop, hip hop. Yo. Eminem beats Drake, Jay-Z, Yo. and Tupac as the highest selling rapper of all time. Yo, everybody. Everybody, everybody in the 313. 227 I million am. units sold. Yo. But to be fair, everyone in his fan has to buy two copies, one for their mother and their father's house <laughs> after the divorce. Yeah, no, so, true. you know, it's going to double. It's built in. Y'all not even worried about the right thing. Look at number seven. Flow Rider. That's right. Y'all all guilty of that, uh -huh. right? You did that. Okay. Album by the D with the box <laughs> and the You bought a whole album because of that song. Several of them. Motherfucker. Because in 2010, we was drinking a lot. You probably just like lost the CD lost or some shit. Lost the shit, got scratched. You dropped uh, it the fucking lot. That shit still goes off. God damn it. Damn. Eminem. Imagine you're in the car, someone's like, turn that Eminem up. Like, no, get out. No, get out the car. Yeah. I don't care if this is Uber. Get out. Oh, <laughs> I'm canceling man. the ride. All right, well, shout out, to, shout out to Eminem, Mom Spaghetti, all that good shit. <laughs> he got, he got, but he got bars, bro. He got, he got bars in the beginning, and then he started getting weird. Right? Yeah, he got, he got like super weird. The greatest rapper of all time says, "Shovel gerbil in your ass through a tube." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's your, that's your goal. Give it to me. Just give it to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys want to talk about shoes? Let's talk about shoes. Yeah, Let's talk why about not? Shoes. Hey, leak oh. photos of Nike Kyrie eight. How do you feel? And Kyrie was fed up. <laughs> or he was sitting like this when he said, when he tweeted, he was like, I have nothing to do with the designer marketing of the upcoming hashtag Kyrie 8. In my opinion, IMO, these are trash. I have absolutely nothing to do with them. Nike plans to release it without my okay, regardless of what I say. So I apologize in advance to all of my sneakerheads and true supporters of the hashtag Kai 11 brand. He looked like every other pair of Kyrie. And then he like, disappeared in the puff of smoke. Yeah. They probably, Nike was just like, yo, bro, we can't, like, we couldn't get the, Sponge, the, the SpongeBob Brennan Stippy rights this time. No, Nike really be like, yo, this is your sneaker. Take it or leave it, nigga. Like, <laughs> you're still going to get the money from them being sold, you so. You know what I'm saying? Like, my kids are still going to be like, I want the new Kyrie's. He was like, like, I want sneakers that are specifically made for people who believe the earth is flat. That's right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nike's like, we're not doing that, Kyrie. Yo. Sorry. Yeah. Are you going to get them, both of you? My kids are wow. going to get fucking tempered. Yeah, kids years. love Kyrie's. But grown-ups don't? Oh, uh, no. I'm, I'm actually don't buy sneakers now. Just big penny loafers. Energy. Yeah. <laughs> penny loafers, Birkenstocks, and Crocs. I only wear Skechers. <laughs> they could come out with a new pair of Heelys for guys. Woo! I'm there. Save my travel time. I'm saying? I'm an Airwalk guy myself. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we have some pretty sad news. Oh, no. Sorry. Sad oh, guys. Oh, no. Arthur got canceled. What'd he do? Did he make a homophobic slur? <laughs> Arthur canceled at PBS after 25 seasons, the longest running oh, children's anime oh. series in the history of American television. Wow. Arthur will end on PBS Kids with his final season launching in winter. Why does he look happy, though? He's like, I'm like, not I don't got to work no more. Ah, He's like, I got to have a life. Ah. We, had to, we watched him grow up. He's never had, not had the camera on him. It's like, a, it's time for me to grow up. He's about to do wild coke. He's about to be the new Hunter Biden. <laughs> out here. Arthur, out here. Like, wow, oh. yeah. He's like, I'm going to use this yeah. fist to jerk off. Yeah, I'm going to jerk <laughs> off this fist. Ooh. I'm going to do a bump off my fucking pinky toe. Damn, canceled. The sad part, the final episode, they all die of COVID. Wow. Listen, they're anti-vaxxers. What do you want? Yo. You know also, DW was not getting the needle. Not at all. Come not on. at all. Also, how the fuck do you wear sunglasses when your ears are on top of your head? <laughs> exactly. Put me on. Put me See, on. They don't believe in science. That's why they anti-vax. Like, yo, if I can wear sunglasses with no ears, what do I need a vaccine for? 
Um, all right, we have some very white goss, so okay. apologies. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, damn. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis say they don't believe in bathing their kids or themselves too much. Ah. I've never used the phrase too much in regards to that. Oh, I don't understand that. Man. I didn't have hot water growing up as a child, so I didn't shower very much anyway. Okay. But okay. when I had children, I also didn't wash them every day. Like, I wasn't the mm. parent that bathed my newborns ever. Oh! So your kids are shit in his diaper and you just wipe them with like a little baby wipe and just was like, yo, keep it moving. Just blowing it like, yeah, just, all right, you good. Yeah, you good. <laughs> we only we did because it was part of the nighttime routine. We could care less about their cleanliness. We just yeah. put them in there as like Pavlovian. But then soon as we didn't need help, we haven't washed them since. It's been like six years. <laughs> That's how we feel about our children. We're like, oof, something smells. And we're like, oh, here's sorry. the thing. <laughs> now, here's the thing. If you can see the dirt on them, clean them. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no point. Bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> see, this is like, this is like, the, your, your rich parents, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't t pick up the underwear off the floor after your kid hasn't showered in two days and see the fucking duty stain in the drawers, B. <laughs> you got to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not real. Stop. The nanny probably disagrees with y'all. Do they have nothing else to talk about? Like, That's what you go on a podcast and be like, they're like, what are you working on? Oh, my dirty ass kids. Yo, my kids is my, my kids are mad dusty. nasty. Look at them. <laughs> also, this is why Ashton Kutcher didn't go on that uh, jock, Jeff Bezos rocket because he was going to be stinking in there. Jeff <laughs> like, would be like, yo, you stink, my nigga. Yo, damn. Uh, it's like, buddy, you smell like PU. They got too much money to be this cheap. Oh, their kids is dirty. Damn, dog. I'll call it children's services on that. Yo, fam, I, listen, I bathe my kids every fucking day. And then, oh, okay, you know, go. sometimes you put up that bat signal, white people be coming out and revealing some shit they yo. do not need on the timeline. Yo, cool, yeah, Kubi. Yana said, I'm with them on this. Bathing two little kids every day is a lot of work. Plus, it can really dry out their skin. If they spend the day outside in the dirt, then they need a bath. Crunchy hair bath, sometimes. Pools also count. No, they don't! Uh, no, they don't! They do not! Pools, <laughs> pools also count as the blue lives matter of cleanliness. Yo, like, I don't want to hear that. No. I don't, don't want to hear that. Get out of here. Pools also count. No. How your little kid gets to the pool and now looks like bullion? Like, oh, it's all brown and shit. Get out of here. Oh. Ugh. Stop using soap for showering two years ago, except hands. For about three weeks, I got well stinky, then it just stopped. You still need to shower with water and wash, clo wash clothes or you'll start to smell. But even my mother remarks that I no longer have B.O. Girlfriends love it. You ain't got no girlfriend because your name is Ludwig and you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know what? Fuck the vaccine. Fuck the vaccine. How did... How you just not, you're not even washing during a pandemic? Yeah, come on. How your mother's compliment is to come to you like, baby, you don't stink. You don't stink, baby. Oh. <laughs> That's my little Ludwig, not stinking no more. Yeah. <laughs> he knows the exact point in time when he stopped using soap. Fam. You nasty nigga. Two years ago. Oh. He, got the, he got a calendar and shit, like a little trip, like, yo, mm -hmm. two years filthy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and Mercedes adds, my husband has literally not used soap in over two years. And most importantly, he does not smell. This is ride or die, but like, if I'm not using soap, you gotta call me on it, mom. Yo, like, come on. If I don't shave my balls for too long, my wife is like, yo, what the fuck is going on here? You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely washing every day. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You should go down. I'm speaking from, you know what I'm saying? This is real. It's real life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right. You feel me? Oh, it's got to be ready, dog. So you got to get ready. You understand? Okay. That kills the vibe. You know what I'm saying? If you're not ready, then you got to be like, yo, let me wash up. The vibe is done. It's Julie, it. are you going to sue him? I'm sick. <laughs> Your marriage hasn't even started yet. He's ruining it. <laughs> giving you the real. Yo, welcome to the Jesus and Mero YouTube channel. That's right, you know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, you know what I mean? That's right, we got a lot of digital content in here to keep you up in between our shows. So be sure to like, subscribe, and you know, click watch another video. We out. Yo,